In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the PAX D210 device with SalesView iPad POS and WorldPay credit card processing. So here we have the D210, and we're going to install the battery. We'll simply take this, push it in like that, and put the battery cover on. This does need to be screwed closed with a flat screwdriver, so we'll take that out, screw that in. And this comes with a battery, so it will work without being plugged in, but it does have a charger that goes in right here. Pop that in. And when you first turn it on, it's going to do a self-test, and then it's going to search for Wi-Fi. So you can see our Wi-Fi here, and we'll just connect to the second sales view one. And it's going to ask you to enter your password. So our password is all numeric, but if you needed to put in a letter A, for example, you just press on 2 and then hit alpha. And if it needs to be lowercase, then you can just hit function and then alpha again and go back around. And it'll stay lowercase, so if we did 3 alpha, it would be lowercase again until we hit function. So once it connects, it'll give you this uh, Wi-Fi info, and you can just press any key. And it's going to check for updates. There'll be various software updates for the terminal um, over time. And once you get to this screen, it's ready to go. So it'll already be connected to your account through SalesView. So we can go to our SalesView app. We'll ring something up here, and we'll touch pay, and then we'll touch credit card. We have tip configured on this account. You can obviously turn this on if you're a retail store that doesn't take tips. So we'll go no tip. And then if we come back to our PAX device, you'll hit enter, and it's gonna retrieve that transaction. Just the same amount as we just did. And then we'll hit enter again. And in this screen, you can either start typing in manually uh, the credit card number, or you can swipe a credit card. Uh, eventually we'll have the, the dip turned on, or you'll be able to put in a chip card that has not been activated yet. And at this point, it's gonna send the transaction back, back to us. We can hit continue. And you can see it's approved. 